Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? This is the Locale Wrangler with another video. Today I'll be doing a Cyrex documentary. So, other known as DK Customs. Alright, so let's dive into this. Chance James Finley Wilkins. Born September 20th, 1990. Better known online as Cyrax, also known as DK Customs, or formerly DJ Shadowblade. is an American YouTuber and self-proclaimed musician, gamer, artist, and vlogger. He's known for a variety of content such as rap and music covers, let's plays, films, etc. Cyrax is notorious online for his anger, sexual abuse, and other controversies. He is noteworthy of his rages that occur when he interacts with various internet trolls, which many people find comical and use as a source of entertainment. He has often been compared to other in infamous YouTubers such as Chris Chan. Personal Life Chance Wilkins was born Patrick Smith in Alaska on September 20th, 1990 to parents Rupal Smith and Connie Lobdell. He was born prematurely with an underdeveloped body that caused him many issues in life, though what issues he has specifically are currently unknown. In 1994, Smith was arrested and given to a 20-year prison sentence for raping a 14-year-old girl. Lobdell was deemed unfit to care for a child due to her intellectual disability. Because of this, Cyrax had to move in with his grandmother, Sally Wilkins, who changed his name from Patrick to Chance because he was getting a second chance at life. During Cyrax's school years, he was bullied due to his deformed appearance. He was also very unintelligent to the point where teachers had to grade him based on his drawings. He was held back in high school until he was 23 years old. In 2013, he threw himself off the school's second floor balcony as a part of a dare, resulting in a broken arm, blaming the people who dared him <laughs> and claiming that they pushed him off. He called the police on them and got expelled for making a false police report. As of this writing in 2023, he has not received his GED. Cyrax's earliest online activity was when he created his first YouTube account in 2010, where he created anime music videos, AMVs. Around 2012, Cyrus got signed by the music label Killer Clown Sounds, which was run by one Eric Scribolo out of sympathy. Cyrus was soon fired from the record label after he stole Eric's music and pseudonyms. On February 14, 2012, Cyrax was arrested for strangling and beating up Sally. Though, when investigated by police, he said he blacked out and didn't remember the incident. He posted it starting. He posted it started during an argument where he wanted to walk to Kansas from Ohio to live with his then online girlfriend. He currently still lives with Sally and her boyfriend Ed in Akron, Ohio, with no employment or income. On June 12, 2023, Cyrax alleged his house landlord was going to evict himself and his family unless they turned off their internet. This was possibly due to the house's unpaid rent. He planned to hire a lawyer to fight the eviction, thinking trolls were behind the notice. He then asked fans to donate money to him to hire the lawyer and stop the eviction. On June 25, 2023, a troll with the handle Aware of Myself began protesting outside of Cyrax's house for being a child predator. So Cyrax stormed outside holding a baseball bat and began swinging at him and hitting him a few times, only to be overpowered by the troll. Aware of Myself was also recording the whole time with his phone. Aware of Myself called the cops shortly after, leading Cyrax to be jailed for assault. He was bonded out by Sally the next day. On June 28th, Cyrax would post a video claiming that he wasn't a child predator since the police don't have any incidents on his record. He also says that he claims that the claims were set up by the trolls and were just doing these things for attention. 
which caused the troll to protest outside his house. Cyrex says that the arrest has endangered his family's life and wants trolls to leave him alone. Cyrex and his family are heavily disliked by the rest of their neighborhood due to the predatory behavior, causing his home to often be subjected to ridicule or vandalism. Around May of 2023, their lawn chairs, bricks, and outdoor furniture were reported to have been stolen. Much to Cyrax's dismay, this caused him to angrily call out the trolls for doing so. It was also shown on July 20, 2023 that the neighbors began throwing eggs at their house. Since 2010, Cyrax has created multiple YouTube channels, which range from a variety of content. The most notable is his music channel where he originally created anime music videos. He mainly creates music from rap, metal, electronic, etc. He'll sometimes use different types of instruments such as homemade drum kit or a DJ controller. Cyrax has also made multiple Lex Plays and reviews of video games, most notably racing games such as Dirt Rally, Need for Speed, Asphalt 9, Legends, etc. Cyrax brief briefly created a channel under the name Dark Star Films where he created short dark films such as The Darkness in which someone opens a mobile app that unleashes a demon to continuously torture him. He's also created reviews of films and cameras, vlogs, tips, and VFX reels. He also mostly he's also mostly known for creating live streams that are mainly done on YouTube, Facebook, and Kick in which he talks about trolls, music announcements, and let's plays. Sometimes he'll feature guests and trolls on live on these live streams. Cyrex has a variety of YouTube channels, most of which he deletes after a while due to internet trolls calling him out. A common behavior of his includes him quitting YouTube only to return to it after a short amount of time. And controversies. <clears throat> Cyrex has become infamous for his anger. This mostly occurs when he interacts with the trolls, most notably Music Biz Marty, William Gloria Hole, and others on their live stream panels. A common aspect of his rages includes him shouting various racist and homophobic slurs. When raging, he is shown to be very delusional as he commonly projects, making negative statements towards other people that apply directly to him. He is known for compulsory lying as well, blaming his immoral acts on the trolls. Whenever someone tries to denounce him, he either talks over them or ignores them, or both, refusing to accept the truth in whatever they say. Another common behavior of his rages includes him pulling down his pants and stroking his penis in hopes <laughs> it gets his trolls' channels taken down. Amazingly, this has successfully caused his arch nemesis, Music Biz Marty, to have two channels taken down. He commonly gives death threats to his trolls. People often note Cyrex's media influences being angry in ways similar to WWE superstars and anime characters. Despite him acting very tough and threatening, he is actually very cowardly, losing and crying for his mother in an actual fight against Marty. Crying for help as well when he got arrested and often telling his grandmother Sally to call the police on the trolls. It should also be noted he often responds to criticism from the safety of his own stream, disallowing the critic to address his responses to said criticism. He has made so many police reports to his address to tell the police about the trolls to the point where they are designated him and Sally as 43, which is the Akron police code for a mentally disturbed individual. Hygiene. People notice Cyrex's incredibly poor hygiene, with him even once admitting to his friend that he goes weeks without bathing. Cyrex is covered in bed bugs, even being seen visibly crawling on him in some videos. And two videos, a moth can be seen flying out of his beard. People also, um, um, uh, people also immediately notice how 
The top of his head is covered in scabs as he regularly picks and scratches his scab to remove dead skin cells. Cyrix's teeth are very rotten, being very yellow and having visible, visible cavities. His tongue is also coated with bacteria. His penis is also swollen and infected from fungus and bed bug bites. And he once had to go to the emergency room because of it. He also had a habit of wearing the same clothes for multiple days without changing them. His beard is also often seen covered in saliva and mucus, which he can sometimes remain on there for days without being wiped off. Oh my god. Plagiarism. Around 2012, Cyrex would join a record label called Killer Clown Sounds, which was run by Eric Scrubolo. Scrubolo did this due to him feeling bad for Cyrex because of his physical disabilities. However, Eric claims that Cyrex stole content from him, such as lyrics, song, and album names, and even his uh, name. Cyrex and Shadowblade... He also says that Cyrex threw the record label's dog tags into a lake. Eric would fire him after he, the troubled partnership between him and Cyrex. On February 28, 2013, Cyrex posted an apology video along with his girlfriend Heather about the dog tag incident. He said he was very angry at the time that his grandmother came up with the idea to throw the dog tags into the lake, but he regrets doing it and still appreciates Eric's help on the contract, hoping they could contact each other again and reconsider signing a new contract. To this day, many view the apology as an insincere and also criticize the pointless inclusion of Heather. Music Biz Marty would also accuse him of stealing song lyrics from popular music. One example was his lyrics for the song The Life You, Le the Life you Lead being identical to the song Speak to Me by the band September Avenue. Cyrax has also created 2D art of original characters and 3D models of cars, though much of the art was stolen or traced, such as one instance where he stole the channel banner from a channel called Freak Showcase. Domestic Violence Around 2019, Cyrax began another relationship with a person he originally met online named Heather Crow. This was his second girlfriend named Heather. However, Heather has been heavily criticized in the past due to her abandoning her wife, Kiki, and children for Cyrex and having children, Child Protective Services called on her for a child neglect. Heather and Cyrex have said that they've made attempts to win custody of her kids. There have been several instances where Cyrex emotionally and physically abused Heather live on stream. One prominent example was during a live stream where Cyrax and Jamie Springer, a friend of Kiki, got into an argument due to numerous issues, such as Cyrax lying on multiple occasions and sending Heather nude photos while at work. At one point, Heather yelled, yelled Cyrax to hush since he couldn't hear Jamie, to which Cyrax nearly hit Heather out of anger, punching his bedroom door instead. Cyrus claims that he was angered by the trolls to lash out on the door. Heather eventually broke up with Cyrax for physical abuse and cheating on her with another person named Abby. When Heather's brother, Michael, came to take her out of Cyrax's home, Cyrax attacked him. He later uploaded a video where he declared that Heather falsely accused him of frequent physical abuse except for one time where they were in an argument and he wanted to leave to cool off and she wouldn't let him. So he put her in a chokehold and throttled her to move throttled her to move out of the way. He purportedly apologized to her and she accepted, but she would keep spreading stories of abuse. He also admitted to punching Michael, saying he deserved it due to Michael convincing Heather to leave. Blind Billy. During a live stream with the troll Tangerine Cat, Cyrax maintained that he was a rape he was raped in high school by his friend Billy Seiler when he was 16 17 years old he says that they hung out at Billy's house Billy began to sexually assault him just before he fell asleep but he intervened before Billy could do anything 
Cyrax also says he was expelled from school because of Billy. Conversely, Billy contacted Music Biz Marty to claim that the story was false. Billy claims that he was legally blind and couldn't have couldn't have raped Cyrax and claims that Cyrax had assaulted him, saying that he was grope Billy's ass and would jerk him off on his bed without Billy's consent. Predictably, Cyrax declared that Billy's side of the story was false and he did nothing wrong. Bigotry. Cyrax has been heavily criticized for using racist, sexist, anti-Jewish, and homophobic slurs to his trolls online. One example was on a Music Biz Marty live stream from 2022 where Cyrax said that Adolf Hitler should have murdered his family due to Marty's alleged Jewish background. Unsurprisingly, Cyrax has claimed that he's not racist by using the uh, fallacious I'm not racist, I have black friends argument. He also says he uses the N-word in context of medieval times where he claims it meant dumb or stupid. This is false, as the N-word originated in the 17th century and came from the word niger, which means black in Latin. Texting slash child predation. A troll named Kate, who is part of the child predator hunting group Masshole Reports and is married to William Laurel, Pretended to be a 14-year-old girl named Crystal who began contacting Cyrax. Screenshots from their text messages show that Cyrax had sent photos of his penis and videos of himself masturbating. She would tell her age, but he didn't seem to notice and would ask her for nudes. The Massel reports would send evidence to the police to arrest him, but Cyrax would tell the police that since it was online, it wasn't child predation. On a live stream, Cyrax would attempt to debunk the child predation allegations raised against him by saying because Kate had lived in another state, the police couldn't arrest him, and child predation isn't listed in his files. On April 27, 2021, on a live stream by Music Biz Marty and Kate, Cyrax had claimed that he had dated a legitimate 15-year-old girl by the name of Cleo after he said they didn't they did clar uh, charity work together. He never assumed that Cleo was 15, as she never told him, and assumed that she was an adult since so she did charity work. Once he did know about her age, he blocked her. Despite this, Kate remarks that in text messages, Cleo said she had to go to bed early for school. Kate and Marty would also criticize Cyrex for not asking Cleo's age before sending sexually photos and videos. Defending Chris Chan. On August 1st, 2021, the notorious YouTuber and artist Chris Chan was arrested by police for engaging in incest and rape with their mother who allegedly has dementia. Many people on the internet were disgusted by the incident and would spread hate towards Chris Chan. Cyrex posted a live stream giving his response to the incident, saying that the rape allegations were false. He stated that after doing research, he felt like Chris would, wouldn't actually rape raped his mother due to their body language that the trolls in the audience were, are far worse than them. He affirms that if someone was bullied enough on the internet, they would admit to something they they didn't do in order to make the trolling activity stop. Cyrax also pans trolls for bullying him just as much as Chris Chan yet says he won't admit to false claims like them and won't be tricked by trolling attempts. Many people would mock Cyrix's response for his narcis narcissism and claims that the rape was false. The Music Biz Marty Fight On March 3rd, 2023, Music Biz Marty visited Akron, Ohio, booking an Airbnb rental a few streets away from Cyrix's house in order to troll him by making him think he moved in. Later that day, while Marty was streaming in front of the house, Cyrax showed up and began fighting Marty, but was quickly overpowered by him and lost the fight shortly after, screaming and admitting defeat. Cyrax gained a few in injuries during the fight, including a black eye and a nosebleed that would last for hours. He streamed immediately after the fight, announcing that he's still standing, and then called the police on Marty, though no legal actions would come of this. Cyrax still thinks to this day that he won the fight. 
The Blind Billy Story. During a live stream with the troll Tangerine Cat, Cyrax maintained that he was sexually assaulted in high school by his friend Billy Siler when he was 16 or 17 years old. He says they hung out at Billy's house when the power went out and Billy began to sexually assault him just before they fell asleep. But he intervened before Billy could do anything. Cyrax also says that he was expelled from school because of Billy. Billy contacted the Music Biz Marty to claim that the story was false and that Cyrax actually sexually assaulted him. Because Billy claiming that he is legally blind, he couldn't have sexually assaulted Cyrax. Of course, Cyrax said that Billy is lying and that he did nothing wrong. Bigotry. Cyrax has been heavily criticized for using racist, sexist, anti-Jewish, and homophobic slurs to trolls online. One example was on a Music Biz Marty live stream from 2022 where Cyrax said that Adolf Hitler should have murdered his family due to Marty's alleged Jewish background. Surprisingly, Cyrax has claimed that he's not racist by using the fallacious I'm not racist, I have black friends argument. He also says he uses the N-word in the context of medieval times where he claims it meant dumb or stupid. This is false as N-word originated in the 17th century and came to, from the word Niger, which means black in Latin. Sex thing slash child predation. A troll named Kate, who is part of the child predator hunting group Mass Hole Reports and is married to William Glory Hole, Pretending to be a 14-year-old girl named Crystal who began contacting Cyrax. Screenshots from their text messages show that Cyrax had sent photos of his penis and videos of himself masturbating. Ugh. She would tell her age, but he didn't seem to notice and would ask for her nudes. The mass reports would send evidence to the police to arrest him, but Cyrax would tell the police that since it was online, it wasn't child predation. On a live stream, Cyrax would attempt to debunk the child predation allegations raised against him by saying because Kate had lived in another state, the police couldn't arrest him and child predation isn't listed in his files. On May, on April 27, 2021, on a live stream by Music Biz Marty and Kate, Cyrax claimed that he had dated a legitimate 15-year-old girl by the name of Cleo after he said they did charity work together. He never assumed that, that Cleo was 15 as she never told him and assumed that she was an adult since uh, she did charity work. Once he did know her age, he blocked her. Despite this, Kate remarks that in text messages, Chloe said that she had to go to bed early for school. Kate and Marty would also criticize Cyrax for not asking Cleo's age before sending any sexual photos and videos. Defending Chris Chan On August 1, 2021, the notorious YouTuber and artist Chris Chan was arrested by police for engaging in incest and sexual assault with his mother who allegedly has dementia. Many people on the internet were disgusted by the incident and would spread hate towards Chris Chan. Cyrex posted a live stream giving his response to the in incident saying that the sexual assault allegations were false. He stated that after doing research he felt like Chris Chan wouldn't actually rape his mother due to their body language and that their trolls and audience are worse than them. He affirms if someone was bullied enough on the internet they would admit something they didn't do in order to make the trolling activity stop. Cyrax Trivia. Although it isn't confirmed what disorder Cyrax has, many speculate that he may have clindocranial dysplasia, a disorder that causes certain bones to not develop, hence why he has no shoulders. Some also speculate he may have a very mild case of progera, a genetic disorder that causes rapid aging, hence why he looks physically older than he should. Many people theorize that he was inbred as well, but this was disproven by his family tree. Cyrax's deformed appearance is likely to him being born prematurely 
and how Connie would do drugs while pregnant with him. Cyrex is the third generation of child predators in his family. His father, a child predator, and his grandfather, William D. Smith, married his grandmother Sally when she was a teenager, who became pregnant with Rupal when she was 14. Cyrax is often known and mocked for being highly unintelligent, case in point. He doesn't know basic arithmetic, refusing to answer when asked what 2 plus 2 is. He thinks that cyberbullying is a crime and tells Sally to call the cops on people who ridicule him. He has very poor grammar, which can be seen in the description of his social media profiles. He insults people by saying how their mother should have spit instead of swallowed, thinking that women could get pregnant by swallowing semen. He doesn't know where a female's clitoris is located, for when asked about this on panel, he laughed it up and acted as if he knew and left. He isn't able to count. For example, when three people are grouped together, he thinks that there are four people. He thinks that slavery was legal in the United States until 1950, which in his words was 100 years ago. He is convinced that the trolls hired an assassin to kill him. One day while he was ranting on stream, he heard the sound of a mousetrap going off, which he thought was the sound of a bullet being shot at him. Afterward, he became very paranoid and suspected that one of his trolls tried to shoot him and later identified Music Biz Marty as the culprit. Cyrus claimed that Marty sent one of his goons to try to kill him and began labeling him as a terrorist. Despite Marty showing him proof that it was the sound of a mousetrap, Cyrax refused to listen and still believes to this day that Marty tried to kill him. He believes that the government should stop making people pay taxes and the concept of taxation is only a few hundred years old. He thinks that a $400 Apple Watch costs more than a house. He spent many hours on stream flexing his fake Apple Watch to Marty, thinking that he looked past the experience appearance of it and believes that Apple watches are able to function without iPhones. He thought his foot was going to fall off because of a small infection. He isn't able to tell time correctly, stating that in 2021 he's been dealing with Marty for six years despite it being only two years. In 2023 he began telling Marty that he's been dealing with him for seven years. In addition to that, when arguing with another troll known as Cyrax video game, he states that he's been dealing with him for over a year, despite him only having dealt with him for six months. He has openly admitted to being a hebophile, one who is sexually attracted to people 14, 11 to 14 years old. Yuck. He was roughly estimated himself to have an IQ of 2.3 or 2.4. He thinks the amazing world of Gumball, a children's show, is geared towards young adults. He fails the gas... He fails to grasp the concept of ban evasion, which is what he gets banned for every time he creates a new Twitch account, saying that ban evasion doesn't exist. He was tricked by the trolls into plugging a USB kill stick into his Xbox, thinking it was actually USB with mods downloaded on it, causing him to break his own Xbox in rage after doing so. The kill stick was placed outside of his house by the trolls in a small unmarked package, which he thought was delivered by Amazon. He once tried to convince Sally to let him go to Kansas to live with his online girlfriend, who was later revealed to be a catfish. He planned to travel all the way to Kansas alone by foot and by bus. This is the conversation which preceded the incident where he strangled Sally. When Cyrex and his family first moved to Akron, he alleges they briefly lived inside the back of Connie's GMC for a year and a half. Although Cyrex is often described as a locale, many other locales would come to find his behavior amusing, mention him, or interact with him as well. Such instances include Only Use Me Blade and his friends, including Chicken Andy, passing by Cyrex's neighborhood during the RV trip in an attempt to meet him. This resulted in Music Biz Marty calling the police on them and Cyrex not leaving his house anyway. Wings of Redemption ridiculing Cyrax on stream as he watches him on video. Many followers of Wings of Redemption would call out his statements towards Cyrax as being hypocritical. Daniel Larson calling out Cyrax on his TikTok account, with him believing that he's famous on YouTube and that he's involved in the same in a scheme against him. The idea was likely given by Larson by one of his trolls. King Cobra JFS meeting Cyrax on panel at one point and conversating with him and ridiculing him. 
King Cobra JFS, JFS occasionally mentions Cyrax on his streams and usually describes him negatively, with him also making a rap song made to be against him. Many people notice that Cyrax commonly pronounces the word bitch as bitch, likely due to his deformed mouth structure. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is the Low Cow Wrangler and I'll see you next time.